Welcome to Toward a Quality of Life here from the Roxbury studio of Boston Neighborhood Network TV. We're here in the month of January, year 2010. We're in the future. The future is now. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, the President of the United States, and I'm calling this lecture Against the Will of the People. And I must admit that Barack Obama being in the White House with his two children and his lovely wife is a very compelling picture, especially when you see little Sasha along his side. It is compelling. But you have to be watching with this president what he does and not what he says. An awful lot of damage has been done to the country, and even more damage is going to be done such that we're going to have hell, if ever, to get out of this. Now, there is a lot of myth to Obama, and there's so much to say, and I have a very short time, so I can't get into every detail. I will try to go through some things and hope you can follow what I'm saying. I'm trying to tell you that if you look over the broad United States, that we have a government now that is ignoring the will of the people, that is not governing by consent of the government, and that we have a form of dictatorship in as much as people have grabbed power, they won't let go, and they're stuffing legislation and spending and, and things that people are begging and pleading and screaming don't do, the majority, according to polls. Now, people do like the president as a person, but as far as his policy goes, policies go, they can't take it. The overwhelming amount of people cannot take it. Now, also, the uh, person who is his chief of staff, Ron Emanuel, is really not a very nice person. This, this, uh, th you know, this kind of a person being in that position, as well as Valerie Jarrett and David Axelrod, oh, my goodness. And then you add Pelosi and Reid and everybody else, and it's a horrible situation. And I think that the people who believe, and I know it's very hard to follow if you work and if you get the evening news and you know that the newscasts, for the most part, the major channels are all in Obama's camp. He, in fact, they even come in the White House to do their news through the White House. So it's, uh, you know, you can't believe what you're hearing. It's all adoration of him, as is MSNBC and CNN. CNN less so these days. But nonetheless, and so I know it's hard if you don't have the time to really follow, but I do, I do follow, and you've got to watch what this president is doing not what this president is saying. Now, and people are fools. The United States is being fooled. And many, many people who voted for Barack Obama do feel that they have been fooled at this point in time. And, of course, if you don't really follow what the government is doing, you get the government that you deserve. Now, uh, once again, don't listen to what he says. Watch what he does. And so much is done in the dead of night on a Christmas vacation, on the Thanksgiving, on the weekend, uh, with, with, with nothing really being said about it. So many things are being done, being pushed through, even without the right congressional approval, even without the protocol that by law has to be there, just getting done. So much flying so fast that, that a lot of stuff is just going without people recognizing that it's, that it's there at all. Now, I would say that, that Mr. Obama is the most stealth, as I have said before, and thereby the most deceitful president to come down the line in a long time. I would say that he has, for whatever reason, a communist goal, and it's not called communism anymore. Call it progressive. Call it what you will. But what he has in mind, if you really look at what he's doing, not what he's saying, the true things that are happening, uh, we're going to a place you don't want to be unless you want to live like the people in Cuba, like the people in China, or the people in Venezuela. Now, uh, there is also a great deal of lying, and of course lying goes on in every administration, but what makes this, it's, it, why I have to bring it out so explicitly is because 
Uh, he's supposed to be so good, people believing that whatever he's doing is going to be for their benefit or that it's going to go some kind of way that it's all going to work out in the end. So it, it has a particular problem with it when, when people are really being misled and deceived. For example, Obama will put a spin that he's getting at the fat cats on Wall Street, and he even used that term. But the fact of the matter is that the public, many in the public know, but not the ones who adore him and not many other people know that it's the fat cats that have profited, that have robbed our treasury, have been allowed to rob our treasury, continue to rob our treasury, and are doing just fine and have had some of their best financial years under Obama in a long time. Okay, and that la, 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 also about health care. He, he's willing to take anything for health care. You know I didn't fight for the public option, which I didn't care for. I believe in health care. We'll get into that. But he's willing to take anything. And telling people on such a major legislation, the likes of which has never come down the pike since World War II, never has something so massive that's going to change the way we live and cost us like we can't believe come through. And they're doing it. Did you ever see anything like this process going on. And he doesn't really care what's in there. Anything will do. He's pushing them. Just get it done. Just get it done. It doesn't matter. And, for example, lying. He told us that if it weren't passed, the country would go bankrupt. No, all the spending he has done and the spending, Bush did spending like this. That shouldn't have been done. Obama does spending like this. He is put us in red ink up to our ears. He told us health care would be paid for. It will not. He told us, told us our costs won't go up. They will. And wait till you see how long you're going to be waiting in line. And wait till you see the things you're not going to get, especially if you have heart disease, kidney disease, a cancer that's not too favorable to treatment, and so on. I'm trying to shake you out of your hypnotic trance. If there were anyone else but Barack Obama who seems to have some kind of sway over people, he would never be able to do the things he's doing. For one thing, his ethnicity helps him, but for the other, for some reason, he's a very likable uh, person and very persuasive to people. But he is doing bad things to this country, and we are going towards a life of greater servitude, greater servitude. Now, I was in the grocery stores a couple of days ago, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, People are miserable. They're working their fingers to the bone. Do you think you can make your rent? Do you think you can pay for basic things you need, working jobs like that, even if you work overtime? No, you can't. And guess what? It's not going to get easier. It's getting harder. Life is getting harder. Have you noticed? A lot of, a lot of damage has been done. Now, like I said, they no longer seem to call it communism. They call it progressivism. The people in his administration, many of them are outright favorable to communists. Uh, Chairman Mao hang, hung on the Christmas tree on one ball uh, at, over, the, over the Christmas time in the White House. Uh, there were cookies, by the way, made in an acorn shape, and we'll, we've talked about acorn before. The person who awarded him the Peace Prize is a, an avowed communist. The head of that committee uh, is, is himself a communist. And before Obama was president, he himself uh, talked about, and if you research, many, many more connections to uh, people of the Marxist persuasion. Now, all his records are sealed, as I tell you every time, and the only thing you're supposed to go on is what he's written in the books. But if you do a lot of research, boy, you will, you will find out a lot more. So like I say, it's a stealth, it's veiled, it's in that sense deceitful. Also, it's, you know, when you have a guy who's so revered, like if, like if he were to slap somebody's face, they would say, well, it's because there was a fly there and he prevented him from having, or a mosquito, he prevented him from having a bite. If he were to kill somebody, they'd say he prevented him from having agony. Uh, he prevented the person from agonizing in their last hours. There's always an excuse. But, but being that there's anything he does is so adored by those who adore him, it's like uh, it's why it's so bad. It's like if a priest has sex with uh, with uh, children uh, or or people for that matter, or it's like a judge who takes a bribe when they're not really as holy as people might think they are. There's an awful lot to the birthing issue, and I'll give you just one example. I don't I don't care about it, and I don't want to get into it, but. 
Uh, there were some uh, uh, people in the military who were going to be deployed to Iraq, so they said, all right, here's our chance. Uh, we're saying we're not going because Obama's not a natural-born citizen of the country. Guess what? So they thought they'd get to take it to court and go all the way with it. Guess what? When they showed up to be deployed,